Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking trees. Is there ever a situation where you have too many trees in your village? I, I find the answer to that is probably not. I absolutely love trees in a village. I think they set the scene. I think they create the mood. Um, so the more the merrier. The problem is trees can be outrageously expensive if you buy them uh, off the market, uh, already done, already made. And so We've developed a way, found a way uh, to build our own trees uh, that look pretty good using some flower stems that we found at Michael's. They're only available in the fall, and I'm gonna show those to you as we get into this tutorial. You'll find that you have all kinds of options when it comes at, to adding trees to your village. These are some beautiful trees. These are a fall variety of tree, as you can tell. These are birch trees. These come in a set. Uh, these uh, you can buy from Department 56. They're absolutely beautiful. Um, you've got some other options. You've got your uh, Limax trees. You've got some smaller birch trees. Um, and then you've got your autumn trees that you can buy. Uh, from the other big manufacturers as well and put those in your village. These look remarkable. They look fantastic. There's really, honestly, especially with these, these two, it's hard to, to match this quality uh, with anything that you could build on your own, at least in my opinion. The issue is, and it could be an issue for, for, for most of us, is they're incredibly uh, spending. You're going to spend a lot of money. And if you put as many trees in your village as I like to put in mine, you quickly, um, that quickly adds up. And so there had to be a different way. There had to be a different alternative. And so we went searching high and low to be able to find something that would suffice, still look good, but not break the bank. And this is what we came up with. This is the trees that we make uh, from Michaels. This is last year's version. Uh, and this was probably the biggest question that I was asked from any photo or video that I posted from last year. Where did you get your trees? Uh, well, the answer is Michael's, we made them, right? And so they don't, they don't come like this, but I'm gonna show you today how to make this from these flower stems that you get at Michael's. You can only get them in the fall. They come in three colors. They come in orange, yellow, and white. Uh, unfortunately, we've looked everywhere. It would be great if they came in a red color that would just complete the entire set. We couldn't find them. Can't find them online at all. I can only find them in the stores. I've looked everywhere. Uh, I don't exactly know what they, they're made by Ashland. It's called Bush uh, Gerb or Gerb, G-E-R-B-E. -E. I don't know how you say that. Somebody can help me in the, in the comments if you know. Uh, but that's what they are. They're $14.99 and you get five stems. There's only four on this one. I cut one off to, to build a tree earlier, but you get five trees on one branch on each of them, the orange, the yellow, and the white. And so when you start doing the math, um, you're saving a lot of money in building your own trees. And quite honestly, they look pretty good. I do believe these have thinned out a little bit uh, since last year. They look a little more um, minuscule as far as the way they're made. I don't know if that's a, a manufacturing error, if that's just the way they are, if uh, you know, like everything else, the quality may be going down. I'm not sure, but uh, they will work. They will suffice. And, uh, and so we're going to build some trees using those. Before we do that, though, let's take a look at some tools that you're going to need uh, to get these trees built. Okay, so there's a hundred different ways you could probably go about doing this. I'm just going to show you the way that I've done it, the way that works for me. So feel free to, uh, to uh, do it a different way or, or use this to, to help you. You can do it this exact way, however you want to do it. First thing you're going to need are some little wood circular uh, discs. Um, last year, we scoured Michaels and Hobby Lobby, and we were able to find the little wooden uh, packs that have some circles. They have some oblong. Uh, pieces in it. They've got some triangles. Things, certain things just won't work. And so I went to Amazon and I was able to get a whole bunch of these. I believe there's a hundred of these. I didn't pay much more than eight or ten dollars. I don't remember exactly, but I will put a link to this in the description below. Feel free to use these. These are a pretty good size that you would find on any commercially produced uh, tree. At least the, the, the diameter is about the same. So you're going to need some of those. Uh, you're going to need uh, a sanding block if you plan to use foam or a file or uh, you could use a, um, a uh, Dremel tool or whatever you've got at your disposal to, to sand the foam. You're going to need foam. 
All right, and I've, I've chosen the uh, pink uh, one inch uh, foam that we get at uh, uh, Lowe's or Home Depot. Uh, and then I've traced uh, the circles, the diameter of the circles out on this. I've cut two out already uh, to test this before I, I wanted to show it to you just to make sure it would work. Uh, and then I'll cut the rest of these out and you'll, you'll be able to witness all that. You're gonna need some uh, side, uh, side snips or uh, pliers of some sort to, uh, to cut the trees off of this. Uh, these work great. Uh, scissors, um, uh, industrial type scissors would certainly work better. There's uh, some metal rods in there and it's a little easier to snip uh, if you have something a little more hefty in your hand to do that. Uh, you're gonna need a uh, hot wire tool. This is all plugged in and ready to go. And you're going to need a uh, hot glue gun. Please make sure it's setting on the, if it's a, a variable uh, temperature gun, make sure it's on the low setting again, because you're gonna be gluing into foam. And trust me when I tell you, I found out earlier again today, this glue gets really hot. It was on uh, high, uh, I thought it was on low, and some glue dripped on me, and uh, yeah, it's, it's not, I got a, a good blister going already. So just be careful. If your kids are gonna help you, please supervise them, no joke, this, this glue is hot. Uh, okay, so with that, that's about all the tools and equipment you're going to need. So how do you build these? Let's take a look and uh, examine that step by step. Okay, so let's build a yellow fall tree to begin with. The first thing that I do is pull one of these off, pull it out to the side, and then take my pliers and uh, just simply snip it right off. Okay, you've got uh, this in your hand, and that's all you're going to need. This is crazy simple. I'll do it slow so you can you can really get the feel of this. You pull these off. That's it. You pull those off, throw them away, keep them. You may be able to use this uh, in a village somewhere else, um, or you can just throw them away. What you're left with are these little, these little prongs sticking out of the side. I don't like it. I don't think it looks much like a tree. Uh, so we take the our side cuts and we just clip them off. They're gone. Okay, and then you want to, uh, you know, you, you can do this later. Spread this out. Again, these, these have gone uh, cheap this year. Uh, they're not nearly as full. Uh, this is last year's tree. This is this year's tree. I guess they're somewhat, so this just looks more full to me uh, than, than this year. So who knows? But uh, spread these out a little bit, uh, widen your tree out, fluff it up, whatever you want to do to make it look uh, the way you want it to look. That's the beauty of this. It's almost like Bob Ross. We're putting happy little trees all over our village and it's up to you to determine how you want to do that. So you got your tree spread out the way you want it. Looks pretty good, just like that, I think. Honestly, it's not bad, right? And then you want to determine how tall do you want your tree. Well, a tr and the bad part is, and you could thicken this up with like a bl um, brown floral tape. You could tape this to become you know, much thicker if you want to go all, all out and do that. I don't, I mean, it, it certainly would probably look better, but from a distance and everybody's noticing the buildings and the way you've built everything else anyway, the trees just add some flavor. It's almost natural. So people, their eyes normally don't just zoom into the trunk and go, that trunk is way too small for the big tree you got. But if that bothers you, thicken that up with some floral tape or, or what, uh, whatever you've got laying around the house. But you do want to sort of measure how tall would you want this tree in your village? Well, this is way too tall and it doesn't even look natural, but something up here would look much more natural. So I'm just going to cut the tree right about here. Okay, that's gonna fall away. And what I'm left with uh, is something that looks about like this. Okay, and then we're gonna put the, uh, the base on. We're gonna, we're gonna cut it out. We're gonna sand it down. We're gonna glue all this together put it away, let it sit there till we're ready to paint it. Okay, so with that, let's, let's do some foam cutting. Okay, so I've got the foam set up. And again, I traced, I simply took uh, this piece here, I laid it down and I traced around it with a ballpoint pen just to create an indentation, uh, basically a guide for me to use this, right? And so the easiest way for me to do this, uh, and I'll just kind of show you the view that I, I see here, uh, it's already on, it's warmed up. You just really go slow, let the tool do what you paid the tool to do. You've, uh, you bought the tool, let it do its job. So don't rush it, don't force it. You can go in and uh, out to kind of control the depth of the tool. That way you're getting all the hot spots 
on the tool because as it does cut foam, it does lose a little heat. Uh, and so to, to help it, you can do that. Okay, I'll just get that piece off there. And then put that down and we've got our, we've got our circle. Now this needs a little bit of work, uh, but that's, that's the next part, right? So we'll put our hot wire tool down and then I'll show you how to sand it. Okay, so this sort of makes a mess. You've got the, the strings and uh, you know the, the melted foam residue hanging all over it. So uh, the first step that I take in sanding this is essentially just go around the sides and smooth it out. Certainly welcome to do this outside. My wife would probably prefer that I did this outside. Uh, but I'm here and it's convenient and uh, We'll see how it goes. Okay, so the sides now, and again, you're gonna paint this, but all that stuff now is off and it's, it's smooth, uh, smoothed out enough. And now we wanna create a dome shape. Uh, and the reason we wanna do that uh, is to become, uh, so it becomes a little more natural, a little more of maybe a hill versus a big, big block of, of styrofoam, right? And so the easiest way I've found to do that is to take your sanding block and essentially, just kind of start going around the top of this thing. Uh, Dremel tool may work better. Uh, I have one, but I haven't tried it on this. This is the first year I've decided to do this. The last year we, we put a little small piece of foam in the middle and we put some rocks around it. We painted all that and then uh, we let it go like that. Certainly can do that as well but I wanna give this a shot this year and see what it looks like. Okay, this is the piece that you're left with. It looks uh, sort of dome shaped. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, it's not gonna matter. Nobody's gonna be looking that close, I don't think. Uh, it's gonna be painted. It's gonna have some, uh, some uh, sawdust flakes on it. Uh, and so you'll never, you'll never really notice it when it's completely finished. But I left a, a little flat spot on the top. That's where we're going to um, use the hot knife uh, and cut a small hole just to poke the stem down through. And then we're gonna glue it to the base, uh, put some glue in it, glue it and let it sit. Let's show you how to do that. Okay, here we are. And essentially what we're gonna do now is just be careful, these tools do get hot, but uh, really you just wanna create just one simple hole right through the middle of this very slowly just like that all the way through okay it uh this is not perfectly centered uh try to get it perfectly centered but this will work uh, and that's it so leave that to go uh you'll take your wood chip all right and then uh, i'm going to put this down here so you can see i'm going to take a little bit of glue just enough to go around this bad boy. I am gonna put a, some in the center because that's where the, uh, the stem is gonna come through anyway. And we're gonna take this and uh, glue it straight down. As you can see, fits pretty good on there, right? It uh, doesn't look too, too bad. Got a little bit of hot glue coming out, but uh, all in all, not too bad, right? So then, you're gonna to wanna to take your tree that you just cut, okay? Uh, you can do a test fit if you'd like. I know it's gonna fit. It's gonna sit right in there. And really what we're going to do is take some more hot glue. Again, make sure it's on low if it's a multiple setting tool. Drip some glue down in there and on top of that, just about like that, doesn't have to be perfect. Take your tree. push it all the way down and that's it. Your tree will stand on its own right away. Uh, that's as tough as it gets, guys. It's pretty simple. It's not, uh, it's not hard at all uh, to make these trees. It's actually very simple. Um, I just set that down the side now and let it dry. Give it you know, 10, 15 minutes um, and it'll be good to go. Okay guys, hopefully that helped you out with the uh, how do you make the trees. Uh, it's pretty quick and easy, it's pretty simple. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let all this stuff dry. Uh, I'm gonna cut out the rest of the foam and build some more trees. And then in part two of this tutorial, 
uh, probably uh, tomorrow, I will show you how to paint it, uh, how to mix up some uh, sawdust and color that to match your tree, uh, yellow and, and orange, um, and then how to apply that sawdust flocking to your tree to complete it and finish it off. Uh, so tune in tomorrow uh, and you'll see part two of the video. Hopefully this helped. Uh, trees are expensive and I love trees. You can look behind me and see there's probably you know, 15 or 20 trees uh, on that display alone. And if you're paying for that uh, at uh, Department 56 prices or uh, Limax prices, uh, you know, more power to you, that's great. I think they do look better, uh, but if you're trying to remain on a budget, you can build pretty good looking trees that will substitute just fine uh, from things you can find in the, in the local craft store. So if you like the video, uh, click on the like button, leave me a comment. Tell me if you think there's a better way to do it or a different way to do it. And please make sure you subscribe. Certainly appreciate it. We'll see you. Have a good night.